Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel engineeringrn.net. Uh, in this video, we are going to see the construction of hydraulic circuit for shaping machine. So, without wasting time, let's see the components of uh, shaping machine. The first one we will require is reservoir, then filter, uh, then hydraulic pump and motor, then a pressure relief valve, then a direction control valve, then a flow control valve, then a check valve. Uh, hydraulic actuator and or cylinder and uh, high pressure hose for the fluid passage so let's see the uh, symbols of these components uh, this first one is hydraulic reservoir second one is hydraulic pump and motor uh, next one is filter uh, pressure relief wall direction control wall flow control wall check wall in this video, uh, we are going to see two types of hydraulic circuit. Uh, that is, first one will be the basic circuit, and second one will be the main circuit, uh, which is generally used uh, in actual shaping machine. So let's see first uh, basic circuit. So in basic circuit, uh, we will need first uh, reservoir, then uh, uh, filter. Let's take a filter. Hydraulic pump, and then flow control. Oh, sorry, pressure relief valve. Uh, then we will need a uh, hydraulic direction control valve. So uh, I am taking here uh, five by two direction control valve, uh, which will be lever operated. So let's take it as lever operated five by two direction control valve. Uh, we will need a hydraulic cylinder so let's take double acting hydraulic cylinder uh, remember uh, in shipping machine the reverse stroke is uh, faster than forward stroke so we can say uh, uh, we can take a flow meter in circuit so for meter in circuit let's take variable throttle wall and check wall so let's arrange them in order connect this to reservoir then after filter let's take pump and connect it in this manner so after uh, the pump uh, we will need a pressure relief point that will relieve the extra excess pressure and the line from this uh, pump will go to the P port of the direction control wall. Um, let's move this circuit a little bit slow. Okay. Um, let's rotate this. Reservoir connect, connect this reservoir, and that's it. So let's simulate this basic circuit. So uh, in starting, we have connected pressure line to left. So now let's give a forward stroke. Let's take a percentage opening at 80 percent. Let's take pressure of this pump a little bit more. So we will see actual see the forward stroke is slower as compared to the reverse stroke. Hence you can easily see here or uh, when the uh, fluid is going to the uh, from the piston side so the pressure or pressure relief valve 
this is the I'm going to call it to the reservoir. Uh, this is basic circuit. Uh, now we'll see the actual circuit. Uh, for this, we'll erase all this. Uh, let's take from hydraulic cylinder. Uh, I'm taking here uh, double acting, which will be long cylinder. Okay. Uh, in this, uh, we'll need a three by two direction control valve, a five by two direction control valve, and some uh, limit switches. So first take like a three by two direction control valve. It will be a lever operated, which will act as the switch of a circuit, and then we'll take a five by two. This five by two or direction control valve will be in hydraulic operated. Let's take now uh, we will need limit switches so let's take limit switches from here direction control valve 3 by 2 uh, we need two limit switches that is for uh, uh, the minimum position of the cylinder and uh, the maximum position of the cylinder. So let's put it here and one more uh, we'll put it in here like this. Okay. Uh, we need to add a meter in circuit for that. Uh, we'll take throttle uh, wall. One more please. Rotate Let's connect this in the cylinder to direction control wall. Uh, let's connect this end of 3 by 2 direction control wall to 5 by 2 DC. This end to the input of 3 by 2 direction control. Let's put a reservoir here. Uh, one more thing we are going to add here is this flow line. Instead of showing a pump and a filter thing, we are directly using this uh, pressure line. This one, this one. So let's connect them. This completes our circuit. So let's see the simulation. Before starting simulation, let's give the open slides and let's say 85%. Take it 85% and let's simulate. So let's start with the lever. We have forgot to add more things like uh, since the symbols over here. So let's add them. This one will represent as A0, and uh, the second limit switch will represent as A1. Now let's see.
is how the circuit works so when uh, the cylinder reaches its maximum position it will be uh, actuated by this direct fiber to direction controller for the reverse stroke and it will go reverse and again when the uh, a this limit a, a zero limit switch changes its position it will actuate the forward stroke and uh, when we will we want to stop this circuit just use lever and this is how the stroke will complete thank you for thank you very much for watching my video if you like the video please subscribe